Hi there everyone, today I'm going to be doing another event run. Um, the new event is called Curse of the Cure. Now, um, first of all I just want to give a bit of a shout out to this, my friend here. Um, I've mentioned him a few times in the forums, um, he is a free player himself, and a very good one at that. He's been playing for a few months, um, I helped him out uh, when he was early on, I think he was below level 60. Um, I helped him get, get gear, learn how to play and stuff. Now. Uh, he's been playing. I don't. Uh, he's he's a higher level than me. He's been playing since I think uh, November or so. And that even as a free player, he gets Queen Guard stuff. He <laughs> he plays a lot, and uh, he I use him as an example a lot because he just goes to show that you can get a lot of good stuff. Um, I mean, his just look at his uh, jewels here, right? <laughs> his jewels are very good, and he's able to do this without paying any money at all um, here he's got um, two of each of the, the better ones uh, he's, um, he's in our kindred guild he was um, he was in a different guild recently but um, recently changed but yeah he um, he scores very well in all events and all that kind of stuff anyway um, now that's over this uh, this event's another map running one which is my favourite type um, it's a new equipment set um, Quite a bit better than the previous one. Um, for me, it does uh, it does strange things to my stats actually. Uh, for some reason, my crit damage falls by forty percent, um, but otherwise, it's just generally better all over. And attack speed is huge. Um, so yeah, this is actually um it's kind of a remake of a well not really a remake but it's um I think of it more of a sequel to a previous event. Um, so I think it was called the Dark Venom Canyon or something. It was um, <laughs> just messy about that. Um, uh, it was one of the hardest events there was. Um, it was at the time when life steal actually was incredibly overpowered. Um, so things things one jotted and all that kind of stuff. It was it was an intense event. Uh, but I like to start off this first bit by taking down the two um, flagbearers and then the fire conjurer because he will he fight, he brings up so many of those and like they do a lot of damage. Um, and then I'll finish up with this guy. Now you'll notice um, I haven't got my mana per basic stuff on anymore, uh, so I've now got the mana passive, which gives five per basic attack. But um, my mana will actually go down. But you'll see I will play this without actually using any mana re regeneration stuff items, um, because there are some things you can do. Anyway, these pestilisks, you know how to face them. They're in the, the forest bit. Oh, that's difficult to dodge with that. Okay, so now these boulders, um, they don't do too much damage. This event was actually made easier. Um, those used to be near one shots. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't, wasn't able to make a video before um, it was made easier. Oh, this is painful. Okay, um, what I like to do here is I'll do a bit. I'll do a protection bubble and then basically focus on the big jackal. Um, he himself will drop um, additional items. Quite cool, mainly score, but um, he does drop some other cool stuff. Unfortunately, I've got a little lag as I come into that, um, so I wouldn't normally die, but uh, anyway, that's the store section bit here. Wow, it's actually painful. Now, before I did this, I actually did um, what was it, how many runs was it? Um, yeah, nine runs by myself, and never had any problem with that section. <laughs> But anyway, um, uh, these boulders, you do want to avoid them, uh, but they don't do too much damage anymore. They're basically three rock rollers up here, and uh, you want to focus on taking down one or so. Oh no, please, please don't do this to me. Um, and then basically I'll back up so it's easier to dodge a few rocks. Oh, this is really painful. You may have noticed in the um, on the forum recently, a lot of people have been complaining about um, about lag, and here is a good example of what people are experiencing. It's horrible at the moment. Um, I can't explain why, and I can tell you that they will be working on correcting it. But you can see what's happening. Well, this is quite depressing. OK. 
Okay, alright, now oh, here we go. Um, is this going to come back? <laughs> alright, now you'll see here my man is actually running really low, but it's not a problem because I'm about to get it all back. Oh, come on. This is so painful. Okay, alright. So this little section up here, it's um, it's some summoners. They have these in other events, so you probably recognise them. Um, basically, you then need to take down the drum or the giant of each one, and the giants have less health, so pick the giants. And as you can see, you can do a lot of basic attacks here, and even the drums stay there, so you can actually just use them to regain your mana if you need to. And it's a nice sort of halfway point. Okay, I just ran into that boulder. This lag is far more than I thought it was going to be there. Okay, and uh, a few spiked turtles here. I like to take down all the enemies because um, they've got some achievements to go with them at the moment. Um, but yeah, you don't have to take those down. And here, this uh, this boulder here on the right, this will come after you once you go down here, and it is a one shot. So I actually, um, being a wizard myself, oh god, I like to teleport behind it, like that. You've got to be aware that teleport will actually sit still for a second or so uh, before you move. So you need to make sure you you don't leave it last minute because you will still get hit. It seems like it's running a bit smoother now. Uh, I don't want to attempt fate. Okay, now down here, this is where the, the hard, probably the hardest fight was um, in the previous event. And again, it's probably one of the hardest fights in this event. Uh, I like to take down the two flag bearers with my protection bubble on. Um, and then focus on this corner because the rock rollers down the bottom, they will struggle to um, to send their rocks over there. And you want to take down this sandstorm person because he does a lot of damage. And as mentioned by Fossil Fidget in his video, if you actually sit in this alcove here, um, it doesn't matter if you get cornered because as a, tele as a wizard you can just teleport out. Um, but yeah, anyway, next we're going to be doing the boss. Um, the boss really isn't very tricky. Um, he's he's <laughs> almost stupidly easy. Um, he has basically a few attacks which he will do on rotation, so he's completely predictable. Um, uh, but essentially, the main worry is he will cover the ground with poison, uh, like a poison frog. Um, so he'll do that first of all, so you can see it. Um, obviously, don't run into it. As a knight, this must be quite frustrating. But then he'll do his fire jump. Um, which it will go to directly where you are and then now what I like to do is I'll run up to him because next he will summon these serpents do a couple of attacks and then I'll do another poison frog right where he is now he won't survive long enough for me to properly show you what I'm doing but basically he puts one thing in the middle and you want to go around in a circle always run up to him straight after he's done that and then he'll put the poison frog here Actually, I'll leave him alive for a second. So put the poison frog here, and then you can run to here. And as you can see, you won't struggle for um, for area to run around in because you're just yeah. Uh, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> you'll just like slowly use up the edge around it. And it's actually a little bit after the boss fight. This is um, the run up to where the boss was in the previous event. Um, up here, it was uh, it was Shalazar, the um, mutant prince giant thing that summons loads of storms. You may know him from tournaments. Ah, uh, you fought him here. He's he's great fun. Um, and then yeah, here these these guys, they drop some great rewards. Mostly it's gold, as you can see, but you get the occasional dragon stone, and um, I've heard that you can even get 30 minute potions. It's quite cool. Anyway, that was the event. Um, Sorry for the lag at the beginning, that was that was really annoying, <laughs> really bad. Um, but yeah, uh, essentially against the jackals you want to protection bubble, uh, and then focus on the uh, the main big jackal and just take down the small ones with fireballs, and your protection bubble should hold up until they're, they're all dead, so it's not too tricky at all. 
Let's see what I've got. I've also got the item box in there. This. Right. Dragon stones. I'm actually doing pretty well. I've got the um, the wand in the chest so far. Which in only ten runs that's pretty good. Oh and yes, got the cake. Yes. Now all I need is the shoulders, boots and the staff. Cool. Anyway, that was the event run. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you uh, very soon. I'm going to do a video of all the tournaments um, just for just to show the content really. Um, and yeah, hopefully soon I'll be bringing out more videos, not just event runs, uh, where I'll be showing loads of other stuff. Um, my life's freed up a little bit more, so I should be able to do that for you. And then hopefully 